it's Diane from Teach Pre-K. And um, I just want to tell you that it's okay to be completely overwhelmed and exhausted right now. We are in October. I think it's the 25th or 26th of October, maybe even the 27th. So Halloween is Tuesday. It's coming closer and closer. This whole month has been this crescendo of like coming to this big thing. The kids are crazy and emotional. We've been doing a lot of really fun activities, science projects. I'm exhausted every single day. I have a hard time staying awake past eight o'clock at night. Um, I just want you to know, if you're feeling the same way, you are not alone. Halloween is pretty brutal when you teach preschool. Um, I know some of you don't celebrate Halloween, but there are still decorated houses everywhere, um, little events all around town, and something's in the air. Even if you don't celebrate Halloween at your school, something's in the air and all the kids know it. If you do celebrate Halloween at your school, it's insane. And what my school did last week was have um, Red Ribbon Week as well. We had one day where my pre-K kids who come in the afternoons planted tulips with the eighth graders. So there was about 60 kids out in the front of the school, some of them crying, some of them having a blast, digging holes in the dirt to plant red tulips for Red Ribbon Week. The following day, we had this big say no to drugs, police, and basically uh, all first responders did a little drive-by with sirens. They gave stickers, pencils. The entire school was out on the front lawn for this parade of first responders, police, fire, ambulance, all that. And in the middle of all this, of course, we are making slime. We are having ghost hunts in the hallway with flashlights. It's been amazing and wonderful and so much fun. We have had days where the kids want to come to every single center and cry if they have to go to a different center. and. Um, they want to do things again and again, and every song that we sing and every activity that we do, they want again and again, and every book, there's been the creepy carrots, the creepy underwear, the creepy crayon, um, the ghosts in the house, there is a ghost in this, I mean, I can't even tell you, it has gone from five little pumpkins way up to, like, the best day ever, right? Um, so we've got Monday still got a costume shop in the classroom so kids have no shoes they're putting on costumes it's wonderful magical so much fun um but in the middle of this I let four pumpkins rot and ooze and ooze into the carpet my room smelled like something between a dirty diaper and vomit that was Wednesday um still like end of the day Thursday was still not smelling very good even with the windows open fans going doors open everything um it's insane it's insane I'm exhausted it is not even six o'clock on a Friday night and hold on one second I've got my beverage of choice waiting for my husband to get home so we can sit on the couch and I guess not talk to each other before I fall asleep because it's all so much. So if you're having an absolutely crazy couple of weeks, it will be over soon. The day after Halloween is the worst day of the year. You will not experience a worse day than that. So when that happens and you, you know, you're looking at Thursday, you're like, whoo, the worst day of the year is over. I promise it's the worst day of the year. The kids are jacked up on candy and exhausted. And they're feeling the letdown of Halloween being over. Um, but 
I'm also here to say, give yourself grace, but enjoy the magic of the next few days and enjoy seeing those kids in their costumes, having the time of their life. It is so magical and so wonderful. It is why I get up in the morning is for those little moments with the kids. Um, it's worth the exhaustion. I get to dress up like 1960s Barbie, so I'm I'm excited with the big ponytail and the crazy false eyelashes. It'll be fun. But I have older kids, and I don't get to experience Halloween magic anymore. So if you're like me, I mean, I'm almost 60 years old, and you get to experience the magic of all these holidays with these kids. Just soak it up and enjoy every bit of it because it is wonderful and lovely as crazy as it is and as tired as you are there's always the weekend and yes the time change is coming but this one's a good one so anyway cheers to you this friday night have a wonderful weekend